What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ayushi and I've been getting lots and lots of requests for this so today I wanted to do a very brief tutorial because there's not really much to it explaining to you guys and gals how you can actually end up installing the Japanese version of Fantasy Star Online 2 because more recently we had the English servers beta finally came out so to put it into perspective, Fantasy Star Online 2 or PSO2 uh, is actually a game from like 2012 and for some reason is only getting an English localization and North American servers now in 2020. It's supposed to be releasing in spring 2020. We just had the closed beta or they keep calling it a closed beta exclusively on Xbox over the last weekend uh, and apparently they're going to end up having an open beta somewhere down the line so hopefully we'll be able to play it on pc at the same time uh, the game is all cross play but the japanese version of course is a lot further ahead than the japanese uh, than the english servers and uh, you can play it with an English patch on PC, but you can also successfully play PSO2 on the Japanese servers on PS4 and Xbox One and even on the Nintendo Switch. In order to install the game on console, it's uh, it takes a little bit more effort. It's not much effort, but it takes a little bit more where you literally are going to have to, let's say on PlayStation, you create a new account, set its region to Japan, then you can download Fantasy Star Online two and quite literally once the game has finished downloading it's on your hardware it's on the playstation so then you just log out of the japanese account log into your normal account and then you can just play the game normal uh the problem is that everything all of the text is going to end up being in japanese because obviously you can't apply the english patch uh, but on pc it's a lot easier and a lot more to the point uh the hardest part if you can even say that is just uh, clearing the captcha which is going to be in Japanese which I'll uh, show you guys that in a bit so basically I'll have links in the description to all of these steps uh, so that you can end up just doing this uh, you're going to end up going to the arcs layer website and you can see all of this stuff right here you can get the setup file the exec only uh, I always just go for the setup file just because it's really easy and to the point and you're going to end up getting what we call the PSO2 tweaker right so this program that you're going to end up downloading is going to literally just look like this uh, and instead of saying uh, start PSO2 so two, it'll just be installing it. You'll choose a file location of where you end up wanting to install the game and you just click start. That's all there is to it. It's literally going to take you a while though. It, it takes a couple hours to download all of the files uh, if you end up doing it this way, but it's going to download the game. It's going to install the game and out of the plugins is automatically going to end up putting the uh, translations on right here. So there's a couple options that you can end up changing in the tweaker, but we'll get into those in a moment because I wanna show you the uh, Japanese CAPTCHA problem. So again, with the links in the description, uh, you'll have to create a Sega ID and in order to do that you have to do that on the Japanese website of Sega and you can just use Google to or, or Chrome or whatever your browser is you usually can just end up clicking translate on all of the pages right but the problem is that eventually you'll come to a part where it's like prove you're not a robot and it wants you to insert Japanese characters some of you guys will already know how to do this, uh, but for anybody else, all you got to do is go to Google Translate, set the desired language that you're using to Japanese, and then just click on this little pen tool right here. Uh, and then you can literally just draw in the character uh, and then you can pick from a list of uh, do you think it's this one? Do you think it's this one? And right then and there, you can copy this. Uh, into the CAPTCHA. So you literally are just going to end up drawing all of the Japanese characters and just adding them one at a time to the list. Sometimes you might fail on the CAPTCHA, but this is pretty much the easiest way to do it because you literally just draw it and you can end up picking the closest to it uh, if you know there's something that's slightly different, right? So there you go. The reason you need this login ID is because you need the Sega ID in order to even log into the game itself. Uh, but before we get into that, I'll just mention a couple things uh, and then we'll log into the game and I'll mention some of the in-game settings that you may or may not want to change. But the PSO2 settings right here on the tweaker, uh, you can change it to full screen, change your resolution. Uh, the text size, you might want to just leave at custom. I think it tries to scale to your resolution, uh, but you want to set the shaders and texture quality 
probably to high resolution this game's really really old so most computers can run it uh, but if you're having trouble you can end up lowering these and the simple render right here goes up to six and down further than that and that is literally going to end up just changing some of the graphical settings in case your computer can't handle it. The game is also extremely loud, so I'd recommend that you change down the settings. You don't need to do it in the tweaker, you can just do it in game, but uh, be, be warned that you're going to be ambushed by a really, really loud set of music. There's a couple other options here. Uh, play videos on lobby screens. Uh, you can actually turn that off. So when you're in the lobby in the game, sometimes there will be videos on the wall that's advertising stuff. So for the English server, we actually had the Sonic movie trailer on and it was actually really, really hilarious. Um, but you can turn those off if you want and disable a bunch of other features just in case you're running into issues. Uh, there's also some tweaker settings, which I wouldn't, I wouldn't mess with these too, too much. Uh, you can choose your preferred Chip and everything so the game it, it, the tweaker is going to do a pretty good job of already setting all of this up for you so that you don't have to worry too much about uh, you know where you're logging in and junk like that but let's just log into the game uh, just so I can show you guys real quick uh, what you're going to do so once you end up getting the game installed it's as simple as agreeing to the terms clicking game start and selecting your ship now your ship is going to be very important and I would honestly recommend that you guys end up picking ship two. This is basically going to end up being all the different servers of the game. Uh, you can transfer your character from one server to another, but it costs uh, the in-game cash shop currency. And ship two is pretty much where the majority of all the English players are habiting. After that, the game's gonna ask for your login ID. So that's your Sega ID. You're going to end up using the same username that you had on the website and then the same password. I'd recommend you write this down. I mean, I pretty much write down every single password and uh, website that I end up ever using. Uh, but if you don't want to get into the game just yet, you can go to the support menu and this is where you'll find all of your options. It does pay to go through a lot of these, even though it can end up being quite daunting. The biggest things that I would say that you need to go through and turn on is in the basic settings uh, in game functions, there's gonna be a couple things that you can do with your radar. Uh, most notably though, there's gonna be whether or not you're gonna automatically pick up Meseta, which is the in-game currency. Same with automatically picking up weapons that are 13 stars or higher and stuff like that. You definitely wanna have all of those on that just automatically pick up inventory items and junk like that but that's where you can end up setting up a majority of your stuff uh you can also then just create a character and that's pretty much it uh so we'll hop into the game right here and i'll show you guys just a couple more quick things that i, I think that you should know about before going into it of course i've already got a pretty good in-depth tutorial that talks about a lot of the basics of the game uh, the only things that I think I'm still missing from that tutorial is I didn't really get into how the gear grinding works and stuff like that but anyways uh, you're gonna have to go through a tutorial uh, and then eventually you'll end up coming out here you definitely want to talk to Affin and get a bunch of his quests done because you have to complete a lot of his quests in order to talk to coffee which uh, when you talk to this coffee character right here she'll end up teaching you uh, a lot of things like the level cap and higher difficulty and junk like that right uh, over here here, this is going to end up acting as your visiphone they, terminal right so this is how you'll find other players uh, so in the arc search you're gonna search for other players by their names uh, the name is going to actually be their Sega ID because for example I was trying to add my friend Stratus but that uh, the in-game name Stratos might be his in-game character's name but he, when he actually added me as a friend, because he wasn't seeing my friend request, uh, it added his Sega ID username, which was very slightly different, right? Uh, this is going to end up being your storage. So this will already be in your camp ship. Right up there in that doorway is going to be your camp ship. That's basically as soon as you've started a mission, you'll be able to go chill in there and you can end up getting new quests and junk like that. But Anyways, uh, right over here, this is going to be where you change your blocks. So consider the blocks to be different lobbies. If you don't see your friend, it's probably because you're in a different block. You can see in the top right that we're in block 16 on ultra hard. Pretty much everybody's hanging out in block one, all uh, you know, beginner. Uh, at least that's what I found for the most part. Uh, there's also going to end up being a class changer, which uh, keep in mind that you only really have to make one character. And then if you end up going up the stairs and going over here, you can end up changing your class at this guy. Uh, I'd recommend that you get your subclass ability 
ready as soon as possible just because uh, i'm not trying to go too off topic and make things too confusing for you guys but once you end up completing some missions from coffee over there you'll be able to get a subclass right then you just literally go and talk to this guy go to change class and select a subclass the reason for this is because whatever you're subclassing i'm maining hunter and i'm subclassing fighter I have not even played on my fighter and he's level 23 because I'm subclassing him and he's getting a little bit of XP from everything that I end up doing. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Hopefully that covers everything that you guys wanted to know about actually playing Fantasy Star 2. And the cool thing about this game is that everything about it is cross-play. So if your friend is absolutely refuses to play it on PC or doesn't even have a good PC, but maybe they're on console, you guys can still play together. Obviously, they're going to have to deal with all of the Japanese text. So you might have to help them out with a couple things. But the community is also very, very positive, And there's a lot of English speakers that are very very supportive of new players so don't be afraid to ask and chat for uh, a lot of stuff and people usually are pretty good at helping you out anyways thanks for watching hopefully you found this video helpful if you did i would appreciate if you would smash like sub for more because we're going to do lots of fantasy star stuff in the future have yourselves a great day sign or and stay epic gamers